Hello, and welcome to Stationery at Four. Today I'm actually in Vancouver, a lovely city, and I'm downtown Vancouver, and I'm in my hotel room right now. And I've been here on an amazing work trip. Um, it's just been absolutely fantastic. But I'm not here to talk about work, I'm here to talk about stationery. And I had the opportunity to go down to the Vancouver pen shop, and which I highly recommend, by the way, and pick myself up a new pen. Um, it's a pen that I've been eyeing for a while and I needed a new pocket pen just because my old one took quite a bit of abuse. It still works, it's still fine, um, but I, I wanted something just a, with a little bit more hefty weight. So I decided to take advantage of a really good sale, pick myself up this pen, and I wanted to do an unboxing video here. So a quick video on my first impressions of this pen. It is the Koweco Sport Brass Pen. I think I got that right. And I wanted to share this with you as I take a look at it and write with it for the first time. I've been wanting to pick up this pen for a while, as I mentioned. And this is my normal pocket pen. This is uh, a Koweco Skyline or a Koweco Plastic Fountain Pen. And I just wanted something a little bit heftier in my pocket, so I decided to get the old brass uh, Kawiko fountain pen. Anyhow, let's take a look. I'm just gonna take the plastic off. So it comes in this nice little box. I didn't get uh, this one in a box, so it, it just comes as a pen, so a little bit more uh, fancier presentation, I suppose. Also, the pen is anywhere from 100 and to $115. Like I said, I um, got a really good deal at the Vancouver Pen Shop. They've got a celebration on right now. So I was able to get it for a little bit cheaper, which is great. Compared to the Kaweco uh, Plastic or the Skyline version, so again, $105, $115-ish, depending on where you get it from. And then this guy here is uh, about $24 to $30, depending on where you buy it. Maybe a little bit cheaper in some places. So let's take a look, and I'm very excited. So beautiful, beautiful box. Kaweco, licensed to write, Germany since 1883. It's got uh, the look of the pen there, and on the back, the address for Kaweco in Germany. And when you open up the box, You can kind of see it. It's um, it's just got slots for pens, and this can be used for other pens as well, which is great. So I could actually go ahead and plop this guy in here, and this guy in here. So the box is a nice little added flavor for carrying multiple Koweco pens. But let's take a look at the pen itself. Koweco Brass Port, Germany. It's threaded just like the plastic version. Now, I was able to try out the nib at the Vancouver Pen Shop and I got an extra fine. That's what I prefer for my pocket pen. Um, I don't need it to be too flowy. And I got it also in the gold plated version. I believe as a standard offering, it comes with the silver plated. Uh, they just happen to have the gold plated and I asked if I could swap it to the gold plated. Right. I just like the look of all gold. That's my personal preference. I know some people prefer the contrast of the silver look to it. Um, speaking of the silver look, so here is the cap. And it's got a silver finial in there, just as Kaweco. I'm not sure if that's coming across clearly. And nothing on the bottom. The uh, plastic, it has a gold accent, same finial, uh, but compared to the brass, just a different material. The plastic is very, very light. The brass, uh, heavy. It's about 40 grams, maybe give or take. And I bought it for that very reason. I wanted a solid weight in my pocket. I love the, the plastic version, um, but sometimes I'd get paranoid about losing my pen inside my pocket. So I, I love the idea of having aluminum. Not aluminum, so I keep saying aluminum. Uh, I love the idea of having the brass. It's postable just like the uh, plastic version. The nib is nice and beautiful with good 
good fitting holes in there, and it unscrews for the ability to take a cartridge. You can also buy a converter. Uh, with my pocket pens, I just tend to use cartridges. Um, when they empty out, I just fill them up with some of my own stock ink and put them back in. So I'm going to go ahead and actually, I also ended up buying a Coeco uh, uh, set of ink cartridges because I had run out on the strip and I took the opportunity to get an orange, sun, sunrise orange in honor of the fall weather. And by the way, it's absolutely incredible in Vancouver right now. Both today is supposed to be 24 degrees and it's just gorgeous. Um, I can see out of my hotel window backdrop of the mountains against uh, a set of buildings here and maybe I'll take a quick shot right at the end of the video just so you guys can see what I'm seeing. But for now we're gonna go ahead and put this together so it just plugs right in like that. Screw that back on. I'm very excited to use this pen. I should mention you'll notice on my um, plastic version, I have this clip that I ended up buying with it as well. Um, I didn't bother getting a clip for this one just because I feel like the weight of it is good enough to hang out in my pocket and I don't actually clip these pens uh, in my pockets or on my sleeve or sleeve, my shirt pocket or anything like that. So didn't go for it. Going back to the mini converter, you do spend a little bit extra money for the mini converter. Um, but it doesn't have all that much capacity. And again, as I mentioned, I just prefer the ink cartridges. So let's take our writing sample. Just grab my trusted Traveler's Notebook here and flip to an open page. It's actually gonna write with blue. I forgot to mention that. Um, We'll see if the orange comes out. Uh, I didn't flush the pen, silly me. I totally forgot that at the Vancouver Pen Shop you can actually uh, test out the pen. So I was writing with a blue ink. And so <laughs> it's gonna come out blue even though I put an orange ink cartridge. So it's gonna take uh, a little while for the orange to come through and it's gonna mix with the blue, unfortunately. Yeah, whoopsies. <laughs> if I had the ability to flush my pen out here, uh, I would. I just, I'm not actually at home or at my desk, so. Uh, it is a beautiful pen. It writes very smoothly. And I love the weight of the pen in my hand. It's nice and balanced, a little bit back heavy, perhaps, just with the, um, uh, with the lid being able to post, you can use it without posting it. I find it's a bit too small for my liking. I always like to post my Kaweco pens and yeah, just a little bit back heavy, but I think that actually adds to the experience. So no, you don't get to see the orange. I apologize for that, but when I do get the orange flowing, I will share that with you. Good nib. And Kaweco nibs are mass manufacturer for these pens and good ink flow as well. <laughs> I must have put a lot of blue ink at the, at the shop there. So that's it. Just a quick overview. I would be happy to do a bit more of an in-depth review um, in a month or two, maybe down the road just to see how it held up. But I think I'm going to be really happy with this pen. So thanks very much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and bye for now.